My name is Mary Connolly and I'm a Development Officer in the Development and Alumni Relations Office. Paving the Way is a campaign to raise money for the Sussex Fund, which in turn helps students who are suffering financial hardship and also supports the First Generation Scholars Scheme. Every 10 bricks we sell for Paving the Way helps approximately one student get to Sussex who wouldn't ordinarily have been able to come here. We launched it to celebrate the 50th anniversary. It seemed like a good time to do something a bit unusual. And so far, the response has been quite overwhelming. But we can see now that there's potential for this to just become embedded in the culture of the university. And my aim, my ambition is that at some point, every, every person graduating, every staff member, all of our alumni, parents who want to remember their children's achievements at Sussex, will just automatically buy a brick, support the campaign, and populate the whole of the university with people's memories and achievements. Real knowledge is knowing what you do not know. Richard and Sue met here in 1968. It changed our lives forever. It's an opportunity to say anything you want, really, and to have your message on campus for many years to come. Hi, my name is Elliot Rogers and I do Joint Honours English Literature and Film Studies. I chose English Literature and Film because I'm passionate about both of them, although English in particular has been um, challenging, it's been rewarding, having to read two books a week is obviously quite hard, but I quite like the course because it's mainly coursework based and I think I've learnt a lot as well from some very adept tutors. I absolutely love the staff at Sussex, their quality. <laughs> They're, like Whenever you have a problem with your work, they're just really easy to talk to. You can obviously go and see them at any time. Um, get along with them really well as well, I haven't had a problem at all. In my time at Sussex, I've learned how to be an independent person, doing things such as ironing, cooking for myself, doing my washing. Uh, I think I've changed as a person, probably just become more sociable and learning how to manage my money, I hope. <laughs> My particular favourite thing about the campus is going to a co-op and getting a nice Little India chicken samosa, they're the best things. 79p only. <laughs> After graduation, probably move back in with my mum. Can't wait, <laughs> yay. I am a member of the rugby team. It's a lot of fun, it's where I met most of my friends. So yeah, I'm really glad I joined. Overall, I've had an amazing three years at Sussex. I've loved every minute. Um, I really wish I could go back and do it all again. I'm going to miss it so much because uni's been the best time of my life. Hi, I'm Yi Ting Wang and I'm an history student. Um, my experience is slightly different from other students because um, I'm from uh, Taiwan and um, I feel I learned more about um, how to solve the problems by myself without other people's help. For example, uh, when I was in Taiwan, my parents always drove me and now uh, I'm in England. I have to deal with like moving stuff by myself. Um, I checked Sussex have really good uh, art history course and with the first year Rome trip and you can see from the background these are the photos taken by the first year students when they in Rome. The staff and tutor I met in Sussex are all really nice and helpful and especially uh, Simon Lang, uh, he works in uh, slide library in art history department and he is really helpful and very patient um, such as uh, helping us finding uh, resources and scanning and finding uh, 
best quality images for our works. I realized actually I really, really love Brighton. Brighton just like my hometown in England and then I feel that is the best place uh, to live and study. My name is Alex and I study media practice and theory. I run Uni TV, which is a student TV station uh, here at Sussex. Um, it was established one and a half years ago and since then we've won uh, three national awards and two uh, local awards for innovation in student media. The reason why I'm at Sussex today is um, because I wanted to go abroad to study in the UK. Um, and I actually came to Sussex for a foundation course, which I found through Google. I was basically typing uh, media studies in Google and seeing what comes first, because at the time I didn't actually speak um, that well English. Um, I think the most important thing that I've learned while uh, being at Sussex is to be able to communicate with people from all over the world. So different cultures, different backgrounds, uh, different subjects, different different areas of interest. And I think Sussex really brings all sorts of big people together. And I think, you know, learning this skill to communicate with them, to understand, to be able to relate to them and to actually exchange your ideas and, and sort of be respected for your ideas, for your views. I think that's what really kind of struck me while I was here at Sussex. I've learned to understand other cultures, I've learned to understand other people's opinions and to listen to them because before I was sort of, um, you know, just a person that says I'm, I'm going to do it this way, I'm not going to listen to anyone, it's just going to be the way it is. Um, I think I've really learned to sort of uh, distance myself from my own ego and look at the situation from the eyes of other people. Um, I think that's what your university gives you. Hi, I'm Sarah Walton and I do Geography in the School of Global Studies. My course Geography has been really interesting. Every year I've had a lot of courses to choose from, so I get to do what I really want to do and you, I've gotten to know my tutors quite well, so it's not scary going to ask them any questions or anything. Sussex had a good reputation with Geography and it's close enough to home but far enough from home so that I can go back but it's a good enough distance from my mum and dad. Um, it's just a nice place. It's by the sea, it's a nice area. Why wouldn't you come to Sussex? My best memory would probably be the field trip that I went on in my second year. We went to LA and we went to Vegas. Uh, can't really complain if you get taken to Vegas on a school trip. What will I miss the most? Um, my friends and my housemates and living in Brighton, because it's such a nice place to live. Going back to you know, London, Hertfordshire, not really the same.
my name is Rose Morgan and I do multimedia and digital systems at the University of Sussex. I definitely spend most of my time in the Chichester labs because that's where you can get all the powerful computing work done. And off campus, uh, you usually find me somewhere like the Blind Tiger or the Comedia. I think one of my best memories at Sussex was definitely the Sussex Conversations, which was the uh, 50th year lectures that were held at the Royal Institute. Um, we had a great crew and a brilliant team and everyone that was involved loved it so much that we just had a great time. I think I've definitely learnt how to get along with people that perhaps I wouldn't have met in another circumstance, so I know how to work with so many different people now and that's going to be brilliant for the future. I'm a lot more mellow through being at Sussex, not everyone's on time, you've got to understand that, so <laughs> um, hopefully I can uh, carry that on and generally just be a, a nice chill person and uh, that will be a healthier lifestyle I think. But I used to be members of uh, various societies back in first and second year but quickly you realise that there's just so much going on it's not that easy to keep up with it. Um, I find that's quite, it's uh, a benefit of Brighton Town as well is that there's so much going on there you don't have to rely on entertainment at Sussex as well. I knew that I was going to study at Sussex from quite an early age, I was about 15, 16, when I first decided that, right, this is going to be the place for me. Um, I saw the description of my course, fell in love with it. I'd already fallen in love with Brighton a long time ago, and I knew that this is definitely going to be the, the hub of, uh, for what I want to do. My name is Alan Morris, I'm a biochemistry student which is part of the School of Life Science. The reason why I chose to study at Sussex was because it is an academic institution, it does very well and everyone here is really nice. Science was something I was never amazing at, it was always the thing that I kind of like did second best in and I think that that drove me to want to do it at university. There was a periodic review panel and uh, I was in that and that was really interesting because it was with Professor Claire Mackey, the uh, Pro Vice Chancellor and loads of external academics and it was really interesting seeing how much work is actually put into making this university as good as it is. It's not just like, yeah, it doesn't just slot in, there is a lot going on behind the scenes and it was nice to see that, to know that um, actually like the students are being looked out for. Staff at Sussex are awesome. The, um, the experience I've had has been amazing, everyone's really nice. It's, I don't know, in the School of Life Sciences it's an open door policy. If you have any problems you can go and uh, like, get the problem sorted. If you, don't, if you just have any questions or anything, everyone's so friendly and they just want to kind of, they're all here to help and they make it very clear that they're here to help. It's been a very good experience. I think the most I will miss out of everything is kind of just the student lifestyle. It, it's, and I, it's, just the mo it's just the most incredible way of living. I'm Maya and I'm a third year psychology undergraduate rep. I chose to come to Sussex because I fell in love with the campus when I came to visit. I spend most of my time in Pevensey computer room 
and off campus I would like to say I spend most of my time in the pub but unfortunately in reality I think probably at home. During the last three years I've learned more psychology than I could have hoped to learn and I've also grown in confidence and become more articulate through my role as a student rep. In the last three years I've been a rep for the Psychology Social Society and I've also tried out salsa and tennis. My best memory from Sussex is sitting outside Falmouth Bar in the sunshine after my last exam drinking pins. Hi, I'm Lewis Scott, studying Maths of Economics. Before I came to uni, the mathematics was a bit more like you just got formulas and they literally just gave you things and you just chucked them in. Whereas when I came to university, I started to kind of like take questions more like a puzzle, different methods to kind of figure things out and they just teach you like a variety of tools that you can use in, well, any format of mathematical based things. I can see things now almost in like formulae as opposed to like writing. When I first came to Sussex, like to the ground, I was with my friend and I didn't really like it to be honest. I really didn't like it very much. I think the second time I came back, um, I'd look around again, it was a nice day for once and I don't know, it was a really nice place I could just see myself going here and I could just, you know, really feel like it was like homely, I felt like the only uni I wanted to go to and well, the place speaks for itself, it's beautiful, you know, it's like, it's well, obviously the grades as well, like the system here, the mathematics department is like really high ranked, the courses are fantastic but also obviously the place itself, Brighton's fantastic. The nightlife in Brighton, oh it's brilliant it's insane I mean they've got about something like stupid something like over 200 pubs and clubs or something I think I've been to probably about five percent of them but every time I go out in Brighton it's just brilliant cheap student city young people drinking a lot can't remember half of them to be honest what am I doing after graduation um, I'm going into teaching um, with my maths um, I got a really good offer to go back to my old school and teach mathematics from I think 11 year old to 18 year olds. So I'm literally just going straight into the deep end there and teaching. And that's, you know, I want to do that for a couple of years at least anyway, get a bit of experience in the kind of working world. And then maybe like, I'd like to move on to kind of like economical areas like banking, finance, that kind of area, but yeah. I think the thing I miss most about this place is definitely the people. And I, I love the campus as well, I love Brighton. I really like, again, at first I didn't really take a shine into it, but after like, living here for so long, I absolutely loved it. The place, the campus and the city. I think mainly the people really, I've met some you know, lovely people here and I think it's kind of hard to replace them. But you know, we've all got our separate ways. Hello, my name is Wei Qian Huan. I am a student in product design course. And after I have studied in Sussex University, and I have learned many design knowledge, and uh, I also feel I become more independent, and I'm not shy anymore to make friends with people and solve our problem together. So I spend much time in here, and we do design together with my classmates, and sometimes we discuss ideas together. My best memory is my final year design show. And once I stand there with my project, I feel I haven't wasted my three years in Sussex University. I become a designer. I am a president of Chinese society. I have been running Chinese Students and Scholars Association around two years. It's a very good experience. We have helped many Chinese new students when they are first coming here and we organize many activities and festival celebration so that we can give them a home feeling abroad. We are proud of what we have done. After graduation, I will go back to China and hopefully run a business because I have learned how can design and produce product. So I will make use of what I have learned in Sussex. And I feel the biggest change of our campus is the food. Compared three years ago, when 
I couldn't find much delicious food that I like. But right now, when I, when I have been less long, I feel more delicious food that I can choose, like chicken leg, salmon, beef, lamb, fried noodle, fried rice, are all very good. And also, it's very sweet of them to provide chopsticks for us. It makes me feel home. Hi, I'm Liam and I'm a final year business and management student. I think I've learned a lot um, at Sussex. I chose to move 400 miles away um, for university, so it kind of completely threw me out my comfort zone. So I think on a personal level, I've become so independent and you know, I've turned into an adult, which is a bit scary. On an academic level, I've learned a lot about business. I feel so comfortable in like a business environment and I just feel really excited about starting my career. I'm in the process of setting up my own marketing agency. In my degree, I specialize in marketing, so it's given me a really good kind of insight. And also I've combined that with things like operations, finance. So now I feel like I've got a really good acumen and I'm really good position to set up my own business. So I'm gonna uh, fly ahead with my own agency and I also manage my own not-for-profit organization. Um, so it's going to be a lot of hard work, but hopefully it's going to be really re rewarding. I think um, the campus facilities are really good. I love the new buildings. It really brings it into the 21st century and maintains the heritage of Sussex. I have so many good memories from Sussex. Um, I think probably one of the best and most recent was submitting my dissertation with my best friend. Um, we'd spent months and months and months doing all this work and you know we'd call each other like seven times a day. So to finally submit this work, it was just, it was momentous, you know, it was amazing. Hi, I'm Tom Walker and I'm uh, studying law from the Law, Politics and Sociology Department. Uh, I'm Tarek Aldi and I'm studying Mechanical Engineering from the Engineering and Design Department. On campus nowadays I'll be in, stuck in Pevensey or in the library, just um, knuckling down with your dissertation. Um, if not, if I'm relaxing I might go, go for a little drink at Fowler Bar, um, maybe sit on the grass outside the library, we like to do that from time yeah, to time, yeah, don't yeah, we Tarek? Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe chuck a ball around, have a bit of a, a, bit of a relax. As social sec of the team, um, of the rugby team, um, the way it works is we, we gather um, a good, good number of people on a Wednesday night at the Lectern pub um, on Lewis Road. Um, we have a setup known as Court, which um, a lot of sports teams, a lot of rugby teams around the country will be familiar with it, but um, it involves um, us fighting each other for funny or stupid or commending each other for good things that have happened either in the match on that Wednesday or um, generally over the week stuff that's happened, some rumours that we've heard about um, certain activities. Um, and then, yeah, we, we all do that. We have a good drink, we have a good laugh. Um, obviously, it, with rugby, um, it comes in the territory that it's going to be going to be a bit of a drinking atmosphere, but obviously it's nobody's... always in good spirit. Though, it's always right? in good spirit. There's no, no one's forced to drink if they don't want to drink, but it often does end up with us having a few pints. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, after that, after that, we go to Oceana in, in town. Um, along with all the other sports teams and a lot of other students as well, head there on a Wednesday night for uh, yeah, just a good dance and a yeah, just a, just a really great time. Yeah, it's a good thing. As a social second and a, a, a first team captain point of view, we had an awesome season this year. Um, our second team got promoted and our, and our first team um, were very close to getting promoted and winning cup. But sadly, we didn't. But we had a really had probably one of the best seasons in the history of the rugby team. Um, and uh, also, this is the first time we've actually come really close to beating Brian as well and we won Varsity this year as well overall so that was pretty good. It's a great, great team to be around, yeah, good exactly. camaraderie. Yeah, and it's a nice it. feeling. Um, and it's just enjoyable, yeah, enjoyable process to be part of seeing the team go from strength to strength.
I am a member of the Sussex basketball team, um, for which I'm also the captain this year. So that's a really big part of my experience at Sussex and I really enjoy being a part of it. And you know, it's also a good distraction from your studies if you could just go and have some exercise and just enjoy. I spend most of my time at the library at the moment, especially this year because I have quite a lot of work to do. And then otherwise, definitely at the sports centre because we have practice there and I go to the gym there as well. Um, where I spend my time off campus, I think at the beach when the weather is nice, I like to go there and otherwise, I like to go to those cafes in the lanes as well. And well, at night, I like to go to the clubs, like at the seafront or somewhere around there. What I've learned coming to university is, first of all, that I came abroad. So I think I've learned to be more independent and rely on myself. So I think it has helped me grow as a person. But then as well, I think I've become more confident in the process. My best memory here at Sussex was in my first year. Uh, when we went to the cup final with the basketball team, uh, we went up to Sheffield to play the cup final and we managed to win in the end, so that was a really good experience for me and a really good memory. My name is Amy Stevens. I'm the university's alumni officer and I'm responsible for looking after the university's community of 120,000 alumni or former students all around the world. Uh, the Development and Alumni Relations Office is the home of the Sussex Alumni Network, uh, which keeps alumni involved in the life of the university and keeps them in touch with each other. We also offer discounts across campus. We've got a great new Sussex Sport membership offer and discounts in the library and the conference centre. You're not only a part of the Sussex community while you're a student here, you'll always be part of the Sussex community and we hope that you'll be really proud to be a Sussex graduate for the rest of your life. Uh, the Alumni Network keeps in touch with all alumni across the world through a series of communications and also offers opportunities to stay involved with the university through volunteer programmes and also supporting students through the Sussex Fund. Um, I adv advise all new alumni to come along and sign up with us today so that they can access the three years career support through the Careers and Employability Centre. Uh, they're a really great resource and great team and they've also got a virtual fair on at the moment online so make sure you check that out. Also online we have a LinkedIn group which is over 3,300 alumni from all around the world from different job spheres so get on there and start networking. Um, and finally, if we invite you to come to an event, do come along because you never know who you might meet and where that meeting might lead. Come and visit us on the alumni stand today and make sure that we've got your details so that we've got your email address and mobile phone number and then we can stay in touch with you. We've got a gift for all our graduates today to say thank you for coming to see us and congratulations. There will also be the chance uh, to have your photo taken with the Chancellor if you're very lucky, so make sure you come and say hello.